Yo, what's up guys? Image Master here. Today I'm gonna show you the shake, shake after shot or beat effect. It's basically like the video you, you have seen on the start of the video. Okay, so when there's a beat and then there's a shot, like when you shoot in the beat, you don't want it to look dull. Just like that, you don't want it to look dull. You want it to look like... And we're basically just gonna do that effect. We're gonna make that effect. Okay, so let's start. Make an adjustment layer. Control Alt Y. Control Alt Y or go to layer new or adjustment layer. Whatever you want. Then search up Twit. Tweet. Nice. You will need this. Just get it online somewhere. Go to enable. Select slide, scale, and light, or whatever you want. But I just want to add those two. When you add this effect, you'll see this twitching effect. It it will not stop. It will just keep on continuing unless we do something about it. Okay, go to operator controls. Go to slide. Change the slide twitches to five. So it will continuously go twitch and slide around and stuff. Change the amount because it's too much, you know? Change it to whatever you like. Change it. Yeah, 20 seems nice. Yeah, it's good enough. Now, keyframe the amount. Amount here, see that? Go to the beat. Fi find the beat. If you want to know how to show the waveform of the of the song or any audio clip, just press L two times. L, press L once, it will show the audio levels. And press L twice, it will show the waveforms. You get it. Now, keyframe the amount of the twitch on the start of the beat. Put another keyframe, one keyframe behind the other one. And change the amount of the first keyframe here to zero. So anything before the beat won't have any twitch. And then, <laughs> whoa, it seems nice already. Wow. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> nah. Okay, so you can just basically just leave it like that, or you can make it. Stop. So wait for about one second or half a second. It doesn't matter how long. It just depends on you. So about one second doesn't matter for me. Make another keyframe and change it to zero. It crashed! It will crash again! Make sure you save your work. Every time you change something, you'll be really disappointed if it crashed after hours of hard work. Oh, it's already nice. See, if you want it to stay like that, you can just leave it like that. We can add more stuff like color correction. Wait, make another adjustment layer and put the color correction in that. On that clip. So it's all over the effects. Okay, so if there's another beat and then you want to add that effect again, just copy the keyframes of the twitch effect, then find another beat. This one. I synced it up to the song already. The the clip. It's safer to preview stuff without color correction first. And then add color correction after it's rendered. Oh, there's one more beat right there. Let's add it. Make sure to select select the layer first and the effect before pasting the keyframes or else nothing will happen. Okay, so that seems nice. You can always change the values values of the twitch. Just go to the keyframe and just change it here if you want. We can add more stuff here. Let's find a wave. I forgot what this is called. 
Oh, it's wave warp. Cool. Okay, so you could add this effect every time he gets a shot or every time Twitch is activated. Okay, let's change the wave height to so high and the wave width. Oh yeah, make sure the pinning is selected to all edges so there's no cutting of the footage. Yeah, that's, that looks better. Every time that there's a beat or the twitch effect goes on, we want the wave height to be 100 and the wave width to 60, 650. Let's do that and make it automatic. So you, you would only need to change the twitch effect. Because this one would react to the Twitch effect. Okay, I'll stop talking now. Let's just do it. Hold Alt and select the stopwatch on the wave width. And this will show up. This, you could put expressions here. So, it would change how, how the effect would behave. So, just put this expression, the one I'll put in the video. Put Linio linear open parenthesis and see this circle line squiggly line thing hold it and then drag it to amount okay there we're not yet done go back to it and add comma 0 50 I mean 100 these are the values of the keyframes in the twitch effect put another comma so every time it's zero the wave width would be 1000 so it would not be recognized put another comma and every time the twitch effect has a va value of 100 the wave width would have a value of 650 so it would be automatic okay it would work it worked We're not yet done. We still have to fix the wave height. Um, yeah. Hold Alt and press the stopwatch again. Let's put the same things, but we will change the values of the last four, last two numbers. Okay, so every time the value of the twitch is zero, the value of the wave height would be also zero, and the value of when it's 100, when the twitch is 100, the wave height will be 100 as well. <laughs> See that wavy effect? It's automatic. So, just need to change the value of the twitch effect. <laughs> I hope I'm explaining it clear enough. Come on! Yeah, See? It's nicer. You could change the values any way you want. You could make anything react to Twitch. Actually, you can make anything react to Twitch. Let's add one more for fun. Add another adjustment layer and search CC lens or whatever effect you want. I'll just do the same thing. Not bad. Okay, now let's add flashes. For the flashes, really, if you want it to react to the song, you would have to do something else. It's different. Search in the search for the effects bass and treble. Change the bass to 50 and negative and treble to negative 100. And then click the layer of the song. Right click, go to keyframe assistant, convert audio to keyframes, and then it will make keyframes of the audio. Yeah. yeah, see that? See that? Just delete the effect you just put in the music. Just it's just for the keyframes. You won't need it. Okay, for the keyframes, delete the right and left channel of the audio amplitude. Delete it. We will only need both channels. Okay, let's put this down here. Now make an, another adjustment layer on and on. And then search 
levels select just levels and change and drag this thing I don't know how to explain it just drag it to the left side let me rename all the all of this stuff so confusing go to levels the layer of levels press T for opacity this is the transparency of the effect see 0% 100% 0% we will make this opacity react to the audio amplitude so first of all find the keyframe that is at its lowest or not not the lowest keyframe but somewhere at the lowest you don't want to pick this one it's too low somewhere here like right about this one seven so the lowest is seven take note of that and also pick the highest one or yeah the highest one 85 7 8 and 85 7 is the lowest keyframe or the one I picked that's somewhere in the lowest 85 is the highest yeah, let's go with that and then hold alt and press the stopwatch press linear on and on drag this to slider of audio of the audio amplitude then comma 7 comma 85 so whenever the the audio amplitude has the value of 7 the opacity will be 0 and 0 and every time it's 85 it's 100 and then it will react you can always change the amount of the flash here just drag this to the left all right See, it's, all, it's so nice now. It's with the flashes, with the shaking thingy, with the wave. Let's add the color correction and let's hope that it will not crash. Come on. This is nice, so nice. So that's the final product of what we have done. I hope you learned something. I hope you just you won't just copy other people and get your own ideas. Well, it's yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment what's wrong with my tutorial, yeah, and subscribe if you want more.